My research focuses primarily on um, quite a charismatic species of shark, the great white shark. And what I've been looking at based in this town for the last eight years are basic components of the white shark's ecology and biology. I've been doing this through using tagging data from ultrasonic and telemetric devices and also from boat-based observations. The town of Hansby has become rather popular on the, the world map for great white shark encounters and it's rated as pretty much the best place on the planet to get an encounter with this species of shark. I focus primarily on the movements of the animals, so um, I spend a lot of time out in the field tracking them, trying to work out what their behavioural patterns are, and particularly in relation to environmental parameters. We do a lot of ultrasonic tagging of these fish, so that, that implies putting a transmitter onto the dorsal fin of the shark and then actively having to follow it around in a small uh, research vessel. Now, the Cape of Storms gets its name for a very particular reason, and we're based right in the center of what we would call the Cape of Storms. Um, so often what can happen is we can launch the research boat and be very much affected by wind, weather, waves. Sometimes it can be rather challenging being out there um, in order to collect substantial data to be able to answer more questions about the, the white shark's natural behavior. One of the advantages of boat-based observation research here in the Hansby area is that the ecotourism vessels are out on the water on a daily basis, so that actually allows data collection at a vast scale, i.e. we can be monitoring great white sharks right the way through the year for very long-term periods, and that incidentally then gives us really robust data sets in order to, to monitor the, you know, the movements, the, the sexual composition, the sizes of these sharks, and, and really get a good handle on what's going on out there in terms of the stocks of this, this shark species. One very interesting study that we published rather recently um, found that there was actually a very direct influence of weather parameters on the numbers of sharks that we see in this region and also on the sexual composition. It seems to be that warmer water temperatures are preferable for larger female great white sharks in this area. Great white sharks have many of the life history traits that make them vulnerable as a species. They mature late in life, they give birth to very few young, and actually the breeding and mating has never been documented in the species of sharks anywhere on the planet. So of course conservation, and particularly ecotourism if it's used effectively and, and you know, ethically, can be a very um, substantial tool in order to, to help promote the conservation and actually the future of these, these um, endangered predators.